Hi, welcome to Barmy Army Fan Cams after a really disappointing 2-0 loss at home to Reading. I'm joined this afternoon by Matt, Jake and Jack. Jack, where do you want to start with that match? Um, I really don't know. Uh, it was uh, an abysmal performance all around. Um, if you look up front, uh, we had chances that, as has been the case for plenty of games this season, we didn't take them. It's not cost us, not cost us sorry, um, uh, in most of uh, the games this season. Uh, but we have a problem converting chances. A, a lot of chances that we had, you know, soft balls straight to the goalkeeper, off target, just not good enough. And on the flip side of that, uh, you concede two goals from two set pieces. Just poor, poor. And, um, you know, I mean, the, the first goal's comical. Uh, you, you know, to think that for all, uh, you know, the, the effort that is put in, eventually, you know, she just has to nod the ball home from one metre out. You, you know, it's absolute disaster. Um, and the second goal, you know, just free header, you, you know, just come along and score. Um, shocking, shocking, really. Uh, you, you know, I, I don't want to overstate the point, um, but... Uh, we need to really um, get get better in defending. We, we, we need either uh, th these players need um, more coaching on this, or we simply need upgrades in in players because several of them are just not good enough in those areas, unfortunately. Yeah, Jake. It was one of those matches where certainly we struggled. Um, to come up with four names for the, the poll, where actually nobody stood out as playing as well as we know they could. And just collectively, an off day. Look, I usually try and, you know, try and pick, pick out um, some positives to take from the match, but there's not this time. And this... This sort of performance reminds me of, the, I'm going to mention it, the Conti Cup, even though we're trying to forget it, how, how bad we were in it. This is on a par with that Liverpool game. You know, it was, every player has got to be disappointed today. I think Maria is the only one who did okay. Um, you know, maybe made a save or two. This, I'm literally clutching at straws just to bring one positive, which is disappointing because, uh, look, I said it in a watch along, this team, played really well against Everton last week. They didn't score loads of goals, but it was game management. It was the physicality. And today, against Reading, who, when you look at the table, are supposedly not as good as Everton, we were outplayed. We looked like we looked like we were like Reading's level, and they were, you know, league title chasers. It just, everything about it just seemed wrong. And when, when the two goals went in, I knew from that, that, you know, then on, there was no hope. You know, I, I tried to stay positive throughout, but... It just felt like one of those days and it's one to forget. Yeah, definitely one to forget, one to move on from very quickly, hopefully. Um, Matt, next game is a derby. It's, I, we, we, we've been saying it every week, it feels like the biggest game of the season. Um, away at City. In a way, is it the best game or the best kind of game for us to go to next? I think so, because... You know, there is so much riding on it, not only in terms of the battle for the Champions League places, but because it's a local derby. But quite frankly, if we defend like we did today on Friday night, we are going to get absolutely destroyed. You know, if we are serious about... It, it's a point that I've made a number of times on podcasts and everything about how most of the goals that we concede seem to be of our own making. Both goals today, our defenders were just off of Morrison's or whatever, giving Reading three headers. Uh, if we are serious about wanting to finish in the top three, we cannot be defending like we did today. Yeah, um, 
it's one of those matches where we're, we're almost struggling to find something to take out of it. Jack, um, I don't want to ignore the fact that we did have a couple of chances in the first half. Do you think the game would have been different had we put one or two of those away? I'm, I'm thinking a Tooney shot that, that ended up coming off back off the post. Um, and Kristen had a, a, a decent chance. But would that have been... Would that have flattered us? No. Um, I think that goals change games. Uh, and... Uh, if one of those goes in or, or as it should have been to a three even maybe should have gone in, uh, you, you're talking about completely different game. Reading would have had to open up a bit more, uh, that they couldn't have been as compact as they were uh, and just reliant on uh, set pieces and long balls and time wasting as, as they did. Um, you know, but we didn't put away those chances and Reading managed the game, they took their chances. And, uh, she, you know, uh, d during the watch along in the first half, uh, we, we had a bit of a comment, you know, about all Reading playing well and, and that kind of thing and that we don't want to hear it. But uh, to, to be quite honest, yeah, I, I think they came with game plan, which is the game plan that we have seen from them before, pretty much every time we played them. And they executed it, uh, like, perfectly. Uh, the, they... They did it very well. Uh, we executed our plan very poorly. Matt, that brings me on to my thinking about our naivety. And I know we still talk about a team in progression and a young team to an extent, but was that today a naive performance expecting to just roll over a team at home? Yeah, I think as Jack was kind of saying, you know, we know what we're going to get from Reading, or at least we should do by now. I think that was, what, the fifth or sixth time we've played them. You know, we know what they're about. You know, they're going to be physical. They're going to take as much time as the ref will let them get away with. So I think we need to be a little bit more streetwise. And um, yeah, I mean, maybe there is a degree of naivety and that lack of top level experience showing. But at the same time, you know, yeah, you could say that about the performance as a whole, but the goals themselves, it, it's just basic. And I'd imagine as a former defender herself, you could imagine there were a few things said in the dressing room after that game that are not repeatable <laughs> from Casey. And, and I think from her perspective, obviously, two set pieces would have really frustrated her. Jake, before we get on to the question, I know you're all desperate for. <laughs> let's try and be positive. Give me something, something good we can take from that match, please. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, look, you've not given me enough thinking time for this. All right, sorry. Um, <laughs> Maria, um, I'll say it again. Um, Maria had an okay debut. Um, I mentioned it in the first half before everything fell apart that she did okay at right back when she needed to come and make a tackle. She did. She made a few passes. I know this is very basic stuff, but that's all I can take. Um, and I said, you know, had she played at centre back, maybe she could have done a bit more and got a bit more involved. She didn't do a lot wrong. She was just over to the right a bit, too, too far on the right to actually have an impact centrally. And you know what? I'd like to see her at centre-back against City. I really would. So who do you drop, then? This isn't going to go down well. Millie. OK. <laughs> OK, I'll take that. Go for it. Um, I think on the basis of today's performance, everybody should be looking over their shoulder. So, favourite question. Oh, I'm really <laughs> looking forward to this one. One name, no deep thought, player of the match. And it's the United player you've got to name here. Jack? Leah. Um, she kept trying, she kept going. Not, not everything went for her, but... You know, she she kept trying. And uh, going back to the previous question, I, I will say, uh, in regards to positives, as poor as the performance was, they did keep trying, and and that's got to count for something. Yeah, good point, Matt. 
player of the match. You know what? I'm probably going to get crucified for saying this, but I'm past Carey after that performance. Katie at least worked the keeper with a couple of corners in the first half, so I'll just say her because I have to say someone. Jake? Yeah, I've mentioned her about 500 times already, but Maria Torres I'd say a, um, a debut that she shouldn't be too ashamed of. Yeah, I think it's one of those where most of us said in the watch along, certainly not the worst performance, but not necessarily had the opportunity to affect that much but what she had to do she did well so um the vote split today um we're back again on friday um yeah we're playing city at a rather unusual seven o'clock um hopefully hopefully whatever was going on today they managed to sort it out during the week thank you gentlemen for joining me uh, this afternoon and we'll see you again soon cheers bye-bye